Samsung's Galaxy Gear smartwatch. We checked it out yesterday as part of the Galaxy Note 3 reveal and the launch event. We've got another one here. We're not going to put it on our wrist, but we are going to tell you how it compares to the Pebble smartwatch. Let's check it out. So we posted a piece on Pocket Now yesterday about how the Pebble and the Galaxy Gear are for two entirely different people, and that's completely true. That starts right with the body here. I mean, you're seeing this very, very thin, very slender, fairly lightweight device. And while the Galaxy Gear is actually lighter and more slim than we expected, uh, it is significantly larger. There's no question about it. We'll get to that other important difference in a second. I want to make clear, though, this is a security measure. This is not part of the watch. The watch is actually not this thick. It ends right here, just so you you're aware of that. It's part of the tether and charging mechanism. Let's get to that other major difference, and that is the display here. Pebbles, uh, I can never remember if it's e-ink or e-paper, but I'm sure some smart people in the comments will be able to tell me something about that. Anyway, this is the Pebble that I've been carrying since uh, this is my Kickstarter edition version, which came in. Here's the back there. Just so you can see what the thing looks like on the back. Pebble itself, a very simple product based around this uh, monochrome display with backlighting. Yes, these are the various faces you can get. It also displays notifications, and when you have to see text, it's this uh, you know decidedly low res, uh, kind of no frills system that actually works very, very well, probably because of its simplicity and because it's a pretty good product. The Galaxy Gear, until we review it in full, we won't know uh, how good a product it actually is. I'm gonna wake up the screen there. But as you can see, a very, very different display. This is a color display that is fully backlit. It's, I believe it's 320 by 320. And you can see already, just, just going through the home screens, first of all, it's a touch screen. You don't, there's only one button on the device and it's on the side compared to Pebble's three button interface and all button interface, by the way, that's no touch screen. And the, uh, the Galaxy Gear, much closer to a, uh, a smartwatch, to a full device that you wear on your wrist. It's all gesture driven. You can go through the UI like this. The back gesture is from the top down. And also a darn sight more hardware here in the form of a camera. This shoots 720p video if you want, or if you don't, you've got stills. This one, by the way, I should, I should mention, both of these devices depend on other hardware to operate. This one can be paired to a Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which we showed you the other day, or in this case, it's paired to a Galaxy Note 10.1. And just to show you the functionality of that camera we talked about, we'll just hop in here and there's the viewfinder. Obviously, nothing like that is possible. Uh, we're gonna roll some video here and here's just, just to show you what's, what's possible with this thing. Obviously, no such capability on the, uh, on the Pebble. The Galaxy Gear definitely following in, uh, in Samsung's pattern of incorporating many more features than, uh, than possibly anyone would ask for. But we will have to see. I mean, here's the apps. And um, one commonality, though, which we'll probably use this to close out, uh, third-party apps. You can write them for Pebble. You can write them for the Galaxy Gear. And as you can see here, there are no shortage of them on this device. But we're going to take a closer look at the Galaxy Gear as soon as we get one in. Have a look at our existing Pebble video and our other coverage on that device. And we'll do a proper comparison in the Pocket Now Review Studios when we have the chance. But for now, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. That's Anton Dinoj behind the camera. This is the Samsung booth, and we've got a lot more coming up. Stay tuned.